What is going on everybody? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. Guys, we are currently 2-0 in this season. And guys, I just want to let you know that, of course, what you're watching here is actually from, um, I guess, probably about... Two weeks ago, uh, this season is when I completed it, um, and then obviously, guys, I, I wanted to show you the full season if I could here, so that's why some of these games are a little bit older. My roster is definitely updated from what I have here, but I know you guys like to watch the gameplay videos anyway, and I'm trying to bring you at least one of them every single day lately, so I hope you guys are appreciating all of that. Starting things off here on offense, and we're just struggling to run the football right off the bat. Not a good start, but on third and 11, we do make the conversion here to Rob Gronkowski. He jukes out a defender, and he's going to get to about the 50-yard line there on that little pass. And then we're back to the running game here, but man, look at that. Another tackle in the backfield. At this point, three rushes for negative five yards for me. Finally, we pick up positive yardage here, even though it was only a short gain. Brings up another third and 11 here. Time to convert, and we do down the field. Alshon Jeffrey with a big catch on the sidelines. Big pass there by Mike Vick, and he is now 2 of 2 for over 60 yards. Still struggling to run the football, though. Normally, I do not have much of a problem at least picking up positive yardage on most runs. And look at that catch there. Luke Wilson on the sidelines, the tippy-toe grab. Sets up this pass to Calvin Johnson, that post route. So very, very difficult to defend near the goal line, and it scores us another touchdown this season. And guys, we're on defense now, trying to play some defense and, and really just keep this lead that we've set up here on the first drive with the 7 to nothing. Thing. My opponent went to the screen pass there and was not able to convert it. And then we are able to knock this ball away on third and five. Sets up, up now a fourth and five. And my opponent throws this one into the seams there. I believe that Sammy Watkins with a nice grab there in coverage does get the first down. And now we're going to struggle on defense. Barry Sanders. That's the 99 Barry Sanders, by the way, guys. This guy's team was pretty stacked. And he hit me with the spin there. And I just wasn't able to keep up with him. Great pass here to his tight end. Believe that's team of the year, Greg Olson. And then a run up the middle here with Barry Sanders. Brings it down to about the one yard line. Stopped him on second and goal, but was not so lucky on third and goal because Steve Young did get into the end zone on that QB sneak. Oh, that sucked, man. That was just brutal. But we're finally able to get a decent run here. Jeremy Hill breaks a tackle, and we pick up the first down on that one. Trying to continue to establish the running game. We have to be able to do that so that we can set up the play-action passes. And unfortunately, I'm going to make a terrible throw there into coverage on third down. I did end up having to punt. My opponent's back on offense here, scrambling around with Steve Young, and Antonio Cromartie says, gotcha, bitch, gets the interception right before the end of the first half. We've got 48 seconds left here to potentially score one more time before the end of the half. A big grab there by Calvin Johnson at about the five-yard line. Very next play, we're going to let him score the touchdown as well. Calvin into the end zone again with that post route. Now, my opponent was not able to do anything at the end of the first half, so we do take a 14-7 lead into the half. Defense coming out strong here in the second half with a nice tackle in the backfield and then a sack. On third and long. Again, we allow him to convert. Fortunately, we forced the fumble this time. And yes, we do recover it. Jack Hamm gets it. But what sucked there is that they did overturn it. So my opponent kept the ball there. Oh, that sucked, man. That looked like a good fumble to me. If you go back and watch it again, I don't know how they overturned that thing. It, it looked like he was definitely not down. But anyway, later in the drive here, it's second and 10. And look at the blocking he's going to get on this screen pass. Great play there. Good call by passing it to Barry Sanders there. Now my opponent's going to run around and scramble here and fire it in there again to Barry Sanders. Another spin move. Man, Barry's spin is just so dirty. I love the spin, as you guys know, so uh, definitely a player that I should consider picking up, I think. And right here, I have no idea how that's not a fumble. Truly. The ball went flying backwards like six yards. How is that not a fumble? Come on now. You got to give me that fumble, guys. Come on. Third and goal here, and my opponent is going to take off and scramble here. He's going to throw it in there, but way short of the of the touchdown. And now he's going to end up having to take a field goal there. So again, we're up 14 to 10 here. Not the end of the world, but uh, we should have definitely played better defense on that drive and stopped him. First play of the new drive, and we are able to pick up nine yards there with Jeremy Hill. Later in the drive after converting, ugh. Now we're at a third and 10. Jeremy Hill is just having a 
tough day getting hit in the backfield way too often third and 10 and yes we are going to take the sack i didn't want to force it into coverage there so i did end up punting oh that really sucked man and then my opponent here a big pass to his tight end he's just hitting me up with those passes to his tight end like and and his receiver over there on the left side basically in the slot zone area there um i don't know if that's like a weak spot in the defense that i was running or what but man he hit that a few times in this one another pass right there to that same spot that i was talking about that's basically a four verts that he's running and then he's just hitting sammy watkins as he gets past my linebackers so very difficult to defend unless you user it and uh, he was able to pick up some good yardage there with sammy watkins now a minute 24 left in this one after making a couple stops at the goal line shouldn't that be a fumble too come on like really the ball is flying backwards while we're hitting him fourth down and he does get in there a spec catch with jerry rice man crazy stuff but we still got about a minute 15 left unfortunately we take a sack on first down second down here and we cannot block that guy coming off the edge second time in a row we basically came through untouched but third and 27 we do convert here to alshon jeffrey a heroic catch down the field 38 seconds left in this football game right now and we're just gonna try and scramble here with mike vick we break the tackle huge broken tackle there by vick and he gets out of bounds at around the 50 yard line here we just need to get into field goal range and we fire this one in there to luke wilson but he is not able to get out of bounds 10 seconds remaining we have to rush to the line we have to get up there we have to spike the ball we have to do something stop the clock three two one no hurrying in my offense at all and the clock runs out Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that we just lost that game. Heartbreaking loss. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon.